Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to be taking you through all the questions you need to know to crack the Tableau interview. So whether you're a beginner at Tableau or someone who already knows Tableau and just wants to know all of the advanced questions that it takes to clear the interview, this is the right video for you. Nowadays, big data is something that has come up a lot. A lot of companies have huge amounts of data and Excel is just not enough to solve their problem. Excel does not help cope with the big volume or it does not even help with the speed because Excel does slow down with a certain amount of volume which opens up the door for Tableau. That is where Tableau has really come in and stepped up in terms of its visualization game or its the speed at which it performs, the analytics it provides, in every way Tableau really has overtaken. And this is why there are a lot of job openings nowadays for Tableau and which is why maybe you guys are looking for more jobs in this field. I would definitely recommend you to learn Tableau even if you're not planning on you know, focusing on that field or into data analytics. Tableau is something that nowadays big companies, because of the huge volume, require everywhere, whether you're a financial analyst, whether you're just um, do working on some individual reports or anything. Tableau is something that can be useful anywhere. So do watch this video. I'm Nitika Bajwa. I am an ex-financial uh, analyst. I've been a data analyst. Currently, I'm a product manager and I constantly keep working with Tableau and keep meeting people who want to learn Tableau and teach them about the nitty gritties of Tableau, how to use it, how to utilize it to really automate your work or to make things easier, make reports more beautiful, more understandable or just more appealing to your stakeholders. So let's get started with all of the Tableau questions that you need to know. Do you know that Tableau makes 1.16 billion USD in revenue per year and it has over 57,000 plus customers? Wow, those are big numbers. Do you want to be a part of this community? If so, then join us now and don't forget you can watch the free tutorial of tableau for free completely on our channel odin school do subscribe to our channel and share it with all your friends so let's move on to the questions now in this video i'm not going to be taking you through the basic tableau questions because those are something that you know you can either google it or if you already know tableau then these would be some of the basic questions that you would already know the answers to in fact if you do not know the answer then again i would really recommend watching our full tutorial on tableau i'm going to be taking you through some of the more advanced or trickier questions i will be listing down the basic basic questions so that you guys can review them once and go through them. Do pause on that screen and take a look at all of the questions. So these are the first set of questions. The basic questions, what is Tableau? What's the difference between the traditional BI tools and Tableau? What are the different Tableau products? What is data visualization? So as you can see, these are a bunch of basic questions. Do go through them, know your basics thoroughly because only once you know this can you answer the more advanced questions in detail. So these are again some of the basic questions but a little bit more technical. So again as I mentioned if you already know Tableau these are the things that you would already be knowing. However if you don't then take a pause go through Tableau as a software and these are some things that you will start understanding because they cover quite of the basics the joins, what data does Tableau allow. These are all simple things that you learn, you know, as you start inputting your file into Tableau and surfing around on it. Do pause and have a look at all of the questions. So coming to the in-depth Tableau questions, I think these are the ones that we really need to cover because um, if you're going for a Tableau interview, mostly chances are that you do already have some experience or the company is looking for someone with some experience already. 
so even though the heading says in-depth tableau questions um it's more about experienced tableau questions however even if you're not experienced do not worry i'm going to be taking you through a use case that you can easily replicate or duplicate into your own business scenario or you know something that you do so that it pushes your answer up a notch so it definitely helps to say that you use tableau in your workplace and used it to implement reports or to interpret data rather than saying you studied it so i'm going to be taking you through a very simple example that will help you kind of you know use it in your scenario and see it as you did it um so getting to tableau importing my data tableau interview so this is about um say a shopkeeper who has 10 items on each of those 10 items he has data for 3 months on the profit margins the cost i the cost price of each item and the number of sales so a lot of basic questions are also going to be answered over here like how to input data then um what sort of data sets are you know available in tableau so we come in over here on the side over here you have your dimensions and over here you have your measures so dimensions are usually categorical things so over here items comes in di dimensions because it you know can be categorized into item 1 2 3 and your cost profit all of these numerical data come under measures so if i just put say items over here and the number of sales so it will automatically choose the best uh, visualization so over here it, you can choose the type of chart you want to see it if you just want to keep it simple as numbers this is the basic one so it shows you it this is the filter option so in case you want to filter it by month you can just quickly do this or you can do all so just you know a quick recap for people and a lot of these get asked as basic questions so it helps in that way as well so you can always say that you know think of a similar scenario in your business operations that you can visualize in this way and always try to give your answer in that way so getting back to our questions so the first question what is your daily work process in tableau um so i think the use case i took you guys through should really help you answer that guys uh, don't forget please put it across in your words because when you say you have used tableau even if you haven't if you are able to you know talk about it as to how you would use it it does give a pretty good sense of how well you know it and that is what people want to know they do not want to ask you all of the technical questions they want to see how you have utilized it and how you would be able to do it the same way in their business scenario so that is what you need to be able to show that adaptability um coming to question number 2 what is the use of dual axis how do you create one so the image over here over here you see shows a dual axis dual axis is nothing but when you're representing two things so over here you have two data sets one for the profit and one for sales so it's pretty similar to uh, the use case we took if we would plot it it would come across the same way so you can know over here that okay these are the profit margins that are being maintained and these are the sales a very simple representation um last one how do you handle null and other special values so what happens in case of null values is it tends to so the graph over here if it has null values it might kind of tagger it and not you know represent it properly so tableau gives you the option to either exclude the null values or if you want a fixed point where you want to represent the null value you can even put it across that way so that is how you would handle null and other special values uh how can you create fill map so tableau actually does give an option to create fill map so i'm going to quickly take you through that on tableau again um i am going to remove the sheet remove and quickly add a new one microsoft excel set to so if you see we have country and we have profit so go to a new sheet and um so we can remove these 
since I've removed the data set, they are showing up as error. Yeah, so coming back to this, and I'm going to put my countries over here and profit over here and select this. So what this does is give you a filled map option showing the exact profit. So based on the country. Very simple method and very helpful if you are dealing with global customers and a very nice way to represent data. So let's move on to question number five. How to create cascading filters without using context filters? Um, so cascading filters are pretty simple. They are filters flowing one in an order. So consider something like if you take region, so you would have North America, you would have Asia Pacific, you would have Europe, Middle East. So then under each region, you would have country. Then again, under each country, you would have states. So if you create these separate filters and put it, that is how you would create cascading filters without having to use context filters. Um, question number six, how can we combine a database and a flat file data in Tableau desktop. So this is in fact quite simple. You saw me uploading a simple Excel file. So all you would have to do is add another connection where you add a database file and then simple join between the two would help you quickly join both the data and connect them. So question number seven, how is data blending different from data joining? Um, these are very simple concepts to understand. So data blending is suppose you have two files with exactly the same columns and you want to kind of append one below the other. That is what data blending helps do. So as you can see in this image over here, you can take an Excel file, a SQL server file, Oracle file or any sort of file and combine it all together. That is what data blending is. And data joining is quite simple. So now suppose you have one identifier common in two separate files and you want to merge the data with that one identifier. That is what Tableau joins help you do. They help you join tables with two separate columns where you want to just merge using one identifier. So question number eight, how can you optimize the performance of a dashboard? Um, there are several steps. So optimizing the performance of a dashboard is nothing but um, reducing the amount of pressure you're putting on the processor of the system. So that can be done in a lot of ways. Suppose your file has a lot of filters. Reducing the number of filters can significantly reduce the amount of uh, processing time, thereby improving your performance of the dashboard. So what happens in dashboard is there are a lot of individual sheets. So as soon as you open a dashboard, all of those sheets need to quickly calibrate and refresh. So all of those filters need to get applied again. So reducing the filters definitely helps. Um, maximize the number of fields and records. Excludes all of your useless ones, whichever ones you're not using. Uh, those would be good to exclude. You get um, another way is so in your calculations, try not to use too many string calculations. Keep it simple to integer or Boolean calculations. Also, in your calculations, using um, minimum or maximum values instead of average uh, significantly again reduces the time it takes, thereby optimizing the performance of your dashboard. Question number nine, how will you publish and schedule a workbook in Tableau Server? Or another way to phrase it would be how to automate reports in Tableau. So um, if you're registered on Tableau, when you click on Tableau on top, you get an option for server where you can quickly, when you click on the server, it shows you an option to publish. So when you publish over there, it'll allow you to publish it on uh, Tableau Public. If you are registered with a company, say many of the big companies like Amazon, Google, Facebook, they have their own servers. So in that case, you will be allowed to publish over there. While publishing, so another option it gives you over there is how often you want to refresh your extract. So that is what scheduling a workbook is. So every time you refresh uh, your extract and, you know, publish it again on the dashboard, it um, refreshes it and also gets automated. So for more info on this, I would really recommend watching the full tutorial of Tableau for beginners on Odin School. 
Question number 10, what are the major differences between W7.0 and W8.0? So, um, right now the current version is W2020.3, um, good to remember. So, the big difference that happened when we shifted from W7.0 to W8.0 was the integration of our script. So, that allowed a lot more analytics and really broaden the door for a lot of data analysts a couple of other uh, visualizations like tree maps bubble charts box whisker plots came in uh, we can also copy worksheets directly from one book workbook to another workbook um, question number 11 what are the differences between tableau good data and other traditional bi tools um, so Tableau has definitely overtaken in a lot of different ways, but it finally I think comes down to comparing the cost of Tableau to the cost of other traditional tools and then seeing what value for money you're getting. So Tableau in terms of connecting to a lot of different servers, it has allowed it with a lot of ease and um, you can as company take subscriptions have your servers where you publish your data so it makes things very efficient thereby allowing a lot of automation of report creation for data analysts so that is definitely another way in which tableau has overtaken good data also uh, does offer you know a good price but then in terms of visualizations they are kind of limited tableau does allow that extra visualization so i think if you you're a tableau user you can definitely list a lot of advantages that you know make tableau stand out from other traditional bi tools um so coming to the last part uh, part number three which is tricky tableau questions so trick tableau questions are often asked um, just to you know kind of test your knowledge and see whether you're bluffing or not so suppose you have never even used tableau or touch tableau you can be asked these questions just to sort of see whether you have actually used it so there are two questions question number one what is the maximum number of tables that can be joined on tableau so the max number of tables that can be joined on tableau is 32 what is the maximum number of rows that can be viewed on tableau so tableau as such does not restrict you on the number of rows so one of the biggest problem that occurred with excel and why people migrated to tableau was that initially excel used to allow only 1.4 million rows now it has gone up um but uh, so Tableau does not have any such restriction. As you do increase the number of rows, your processing time increases. Therefore, your Tableau reports will get slower, but there is no restriction. So do remember these trick questions. So thank you for watching this video. I really hoped you liked it. Please subscribe to our channel Odin School and share this video with your friends and like it. And you can click in the link below to subscribe to our channel. Thank you.